All right, welcome back to another episode of Problem Brothers New Launch Review Series. And today we are bringing you all the way towards the east where we will be reviewing this new launch called Seneca Residence, which is located right at the doorstep of Tanamera MRT Station. And that also means that we are in the District 16. We will deep dive in terms of the pricing, the numbers, or even down to the ratio in terms of the bedroom types that you're looking at. So why don't you stay tuned and let's go. You have to pay a premium to enjoy the white space that comes along with this penthouse unit. Something that's very interesting is that on this particular step, which is step nine, one, one drop off point, you have a gym. Plus. So we're gonna head in. Let's go. Mission control. We have lift off. Now, Seneca Residence is developed by MCC with architect being ADDP architect. So I think for these two parties, it requires no further introduction. They have a very stellar track record in the entire Singapore in terms of the condo developments. This is going to TOP towards 2026 to 2027, sitting on a land size of about 95,000 square feet. And that is located just right in front of Tanamera MRT station, which means it's going to give you extreme convenience in terms of the transportation. For this land plot, we are seeing on a mixed land plot with the first story being a commercial units and in terms of the retail outlets you have about 21,000 square feet in terms of the retail space half of which is being portioned to the supermarket whereas the other half is being portioned for the retail as well as F&B so I think for residents and Seneca they are going to enjoy a host of amenities there's a total of 268 units split amongst one bader to a four bader as well as a penthouse unit you have two blocks out of the entire land plot that is averaging between about 14 to 15 stories They are located right in front of Tanamera MRT station and that also means that we are right at the heart of District 16. And location-wise, we are easily connected towards the PIE as well as the ECP. And public transportation-wise, needless to say, just right at the doorstep, that is where you have your east-west line where you can interchange to the rest of the other lines. Now, in terms of amenities, you are just within a short drive away towards Bedok Mall, Changi City Point, East Point Mall as well as the Tampines and Cliff, where you can find major malls right over there. And last but not least, Jewel at Changi Airport. Food options, towards the east, you have plenty of options. You can head over to Simpang Bedok, Bedok 85, or towards East Village, just to name a few. And last but not least, what is currently going through the feasibility study is that part of the MRT viaduct that is located just off Tanamera might be used as a green corridor, which also means that this might serve as your future recreation needs if the feasibility study do go through. If you were to take a look at the site plan itself, you will notice that majority of the layouts, they are largely in a north-south orientation, which also means that you do not have most of the dreaded west sun. And I would say in terms of the site plan, they are quite evenly distributed with the larger units being the three bader premium, the four bader that is facing towards the swimming pool. And that also means that you will then be facing towards the MRT station. In my opinion, I think especially when this entire development is located right in front of the MRT station, that also means that by the time the train approaches towards the station, it would have already come to a stop. So I would think that yes, there will definitely be noise, but it should be minimal. What MCC Land have done brilliantly is that I think there is a setback of about 30 to 40 over meters from the block towards the MRT track itself. And of course, all these are being fronted by greener your gardens, your pool. So I think that is going to give a bit of buffer away from the track noise. For the one bader, two bader, two plus study and uh, some of the three baders, they are locating towards the other side and they will be facing towards either Casa Mera or East Meadow, which is being flanked by Tana Mera Kachil Link. We don't expect to have a lot of road noise coming from this particular small road. Now coming to the unit specific, you have one bader, one plus study, two bader, two plus study. For three bader, you have four different types of layouts as well as four bader and last but not least, penthouse units. In terms of the entire three bader configuration right here in Seneca, you have about 45%, which also means that three bader, they are the larger units configuration right here. Now in terms of the size for all the bedroom configuration, I would say that is pretty common in terms of what we are seeing in the new launches market today. For one bader, the size is at about 463 square feet. One plus study is at 538 square feet as we move on towards the two bader we believe that this is a two bit two bath type of configuration which is standing at 678 square feet and then as we move on towards the two plus study that is at 753 square feet moving on to the three bader they are starting at 904 square feet in terms of the configuration i think that belongs to a more compact version and the larger three bader will then be approaching towards the 1163 square feet and once we move towards the four bader you'll immediately see a huge disparity in terms of the overall 
overall size because that will potentially jump towards a 1,518 square feet. And last but not least, as we move towards a penthouse, they are standing at a size of at least 2,400 square feet. Uh, we estimate the price point to be launching around 2000 to 2002 PSF with some of the larger units maybe they might be selling as below 2000 depending again on the height level. For calculation sake, we're going to just average it at about 2001 PSF just to give you a sense check in terms of the pricing because at this current juncture when we are recording, the price is yet to be released but what we are going to do is uh, going to take a look in terms of the overall price quantum and uh, how does it stack against some of the other developments, new launches in today's market. Basing on the price Price point of $2,100 per square foot that will bring us in terms of this price point one beta below 1 million, one plus study at 1.13, two beta at 1.42, two plus study will then be touching towards a 1.5 odd million dollars, three beta smaller size will then be starting at about 1.9 million dollars that should be kind of the average pricing right here. Last but not least, a four beta that will bring us about 3 million range penthouse, it should be touching towards a four odd to five million. You might be thinking, hey, should I be buying into something that is resale in nature? I can buy either for my own stay or I can immediately put it out for rental, especially right now when the rental market is red hot. Or should I be buying into a new launch? Definitely when we are talking about new launches in terms of the per square foot pricing, that would definitely command at the highest price point. Especially more so when you are having this development that is mixed development. There is pros and cons when you buy into the new launches. Yeah, but in view of the high interest rates, when we are talking about 4 odd percent in terms of the fixed interest rates right now, buying into a new launch might potentially make sense especially when we are going into the progressive payment and that also means that in terms of your cash flow, you can better manage it. Uh, what some of the options that you might want to do is of course you still have to fulfill the 5% down payment as well as the 15% whereas the rest of the milestone will then be staggered in terms of a progressive payment and that will reduce your monthly cash flow. Of course the other reason is to hope for a TOP effect while we do not know that uh, whether would there be a strong TOP effect in terms of very positive sale once it touches the resale market but we always advise to approach with caution because not all new launches are a sure hit. Of course, we still have to do our due diligence. You also do have a bit of competition that is surrounding this entire Taramera enclave because you have Urban Vista, Optima, East Meadows, Casa Mera. And as you look right across the MRT station, there is where you have your Grand Dual Park, Glades, as well as Eco at Bedok South. There's quite a bit of condo developments right there. That also means that if you were to buy into something, I think what we want to take a closer look at is in terms of the mode analysis. But what we also want to take a closer look at is in terms of the bedroom configuration uh, for all the projects within the vicinity. Starting for a one bedder within the vicinity, you have about 80 odd units that are available on sale right now. Of course, all this includes any potential duplicate listings or maybe some of the listings that have already been sold. Two bedder, about 160 odd listings. 3 beta, 110 listings, 4 beta, you have about 9 listings. So naturally, when we talk about rarity factor, 4 beta definitely stands out. So that also means that if you were to buy into a 4 beta, due to its low supply, this will also potentially aid you in terms of the exit plan fuels down the road. And naturally, when we are talking about the 2 and 3 beta, they consist of the largest percentage of supply right here. For you to buy into Seneca units, if you are looking for a 2 and 3 beta, then the minute details will then matter a lot in terms of an exit plan because it will then even come down to the type of configuration, the layout, the facing, and of course, more importantly, the price points. Now, because within the peripheral of Taramera, you have about eight condo developments. And what is very important for you as a buyer is to understand a little bit more in terms of the supply within this area. Now, with that being said, we also want to understand a little bit more in terms of where are your potential buyers that is going to be coming from, how is your exit plan going to look like. First up will then be the Fengshan cluster and uh, this cluster is approaching towards this MOP. By the end of this year, by the time Seneca residence reaches its TOP, it potentially will be about three to four years time. So we should still expect to find a healthy demand of buyers that might potentially come from the Fengshan cluster estate. The next area will then likely be coming from the Bedok South Horizon. That project just recently collected their keys. Uh, by the time they reaches the MOP period, it should also be the time that Seneca residence is approaching towards the TOP period. So the timing should be about right. But of course, for some of the HDBs right over there, they do enjoy the sea view if they are high enough. So that also means that in terms of the unit facing, it might be of importance for some of the homeowners that are currently staying right there that wish to move to a private development. And from the other two groups, they might be coming from some of the older condo developments that wish to move to a private development, but they wish to move to some 
something newer or maybe some of the landed home owners that are just right across the street, downsized but yet to stay in an area that they are familiar with, especially with the enhanced connectivity and the convenience with the retail as well as the supermarket just right down below. Now naturally when we talk about the exit plan, we also want to take a look in terms of the master plan that is shaping right in District 16. Just to bring your attention down along Bedok South Avenue 3, just right at the entire cluster of Block 47, 48, 49, 50, that entire cluster have actually gone through the SERS program. Currently this entire plot is still being zoned as residential. We are not sure what this plot is going to be. That also means that there will likely be some level of rejuvenation that's shaping right around here. As we move down south, that will bring us towards the Bayshore Belt. What's going to happen right over there is that firstly, there's going to be 10,000 units right there in terms of residential units, mixture of HDB as well as private. Other than residential developments, you also will have park connectors, linear park connectors that is running across the entire belt as well as some of the retail outlets and polyclinic that's going to be positioned right over there. Now, if you're to mirror the kind of demand, what we want to take a look at is also how Sky Eden performs and for Sky Eden, they have actually sold out about 80 over percent. Sky Eden is also a mixed development in nature. So we do expect to see the same level of interest that is going on for Seneca residences. But the only changes that we have seen from Sky Eden as well as Seneca is that the interest rate is at a higher percentage point compared to the launch of Sky Eden. So we think that there might be some holding back in terms of the buyer's purchasing option. That also means that you ought to also be prudent in terms of your unit choices. We think that the two plus study that is standing at about 753 square feet at a price point of $1.58 million is at kind of the sweet spot for either the own stay or towards the investment route. You potentially will have tenants pool that are coming from the Changi Aviation or towards the Changi Business Park. Otherwise, they might also be coming from the Paya Lebar Business Hub where we are just a few stops away in terms of the MRT station. And in terms of the price point between a two beta as well as a two plus study, that is about $100,000 difference. So that will immediately set a bit of confusion in terms of the buyer's perspective because you just need to top up about $100,000 you will then be able to increase the size from a 2 beta to a 2 plus study that is considered a small price jump from a 2 plus study to a 3 beta the price disparity is about $300,000 over $1,000 so I think 2 plus study is really kind of at the sweet spot that we are talking about in my opinion I think for the 2 plus study if let's say you want to go for the best stack I think you might want to consider stack number 6 as well as stack number 17 that's kind of like a single loading because you're just right in between stack 1 and 2 where you have a pocket of space that allows you to look far and beyond you might even get a pool view if let's say you're on stack 17 but of course we are not sure how the developer will price all this unit because at this current juncture again the price point have yet to be released so if let's say you want us to do a full stack analysis you want us to spot the kind of price disparity between the different type of units once the price is released do feel free to get in touch with us we are happy to run through the entire analysis with you now before we wrap things up we also want to take a look in terms of the facilities it comes with a 50 meters lap pool gym, various garden trail as well as garden walkway, courtyard, clubhouse, family lounge, various pool and water features. Of course, if you'd like to find out more about Seneca Residences, do feel free to get in touch with our listing team. We're happy to run through a full stack analysis with you. Once again, my name is Josh Payne from Property Brothers. See you in the next episode of the new launch review series.